I don't even want to say it. You think it's you think it's good? Huh? I think we finally fixed it. Hello, good morning, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is Tuesday, and I'm working at home. So I'm getting ready for the day. It's actually a little bit later, but I haven't had coffee or anything. I woke up and been dealing with some things, which I'll tell you about in a second, but I already had my first meeting of the day and sent off a bunch of emails, did some work, so now I'm taking a break to get ready. So last night I showered and I washed my hair. Um, when it was pretty much dry, but just a little bit damp, I put it into braids. And I thought that today I would actually do my hair and kind of get ready because it's been a very long time since I've actually done that. So I'm gonna get ready while telling you my updates. So last night, while I was doing some work, I was just doing some laundry, as I normally would. And my washing machine was not completing its cycle and it was coming up with an error message and it wouldn't drain. So there was water in the washing machine and it wouldn't drain and then it didn't spin the clothes. So I spent about three hours researching what was wrong with it. I did all of the troubleshooting things and then I ended up having to get a bucket and manually taking out the water from my machine. Um, I tried a bunch of things to uh, like undo the filter and clean it out to see if anything was blocking it, but of course to undo the filter, all of the water is going to come out of the washing machine, so I had to take the water out. I used a bucket to try to capture everything that would come out of the washing machine. I also used like a cup to scoop the water out of the water. It was a mess. It was a mess. I literally looked at myself and thought, should I vlog this right now because this is hilarious. Um, but I was frustrated so I didn't vlog. I'm just gonna add a couple curls to my waves because I think they look pretty good. I just did some French braids that started at about my ear. I swear I have a hair tutorial on this look from <laughs> probably one of my first YouTube videos. Speaking of, it was my 10 year YouTube anniversary on April 4th and I can't believe it's been 10 years. That's crazy. Oh, I'm also using this curling iron that is a Conair curling iron, and it has like a flat edge. So it kind of adds in some waves to my crimps, although they look pretty good. I don't know. I'm just concerned that they're not going to stay, so I'm just going to add a couple more. And then I'll probably add some hair gel to it to make sure it stays. Anyways, my washing machine, I did all this troubleshooting. It's obviously not the end of the world. I think I'm going to end up taking them over to my boyfriend Christian's place and washing them there. I have a backup, um, but one, it's gonna get be hard to have like a service person come during this pandemic, um, or alternatively having to buy a new washing machine, which I really don't wanna do. The washing machine is not that old. This condo is probably about eight years old, I think, and this is the original unit that came with it. And I bought this condo a year and a half ago, so, I don't really want to buy a new washing machine. It's not really like an expense that I would like to have right now, but if I have to, we'll make it work. So now that you're up to speed <laughs> on my washing machine drama, um, I'm just gonna try to have a good day. And trust me, I tried everything. I tried everything that the internet told me. I also tried not unplugging it because I can't reach the back of it to unplug it, but I turned off the breaker switch that the washing machine is connected to and turned it back on to basically try to restart it. Didn't work. So <laughs> today my attitude is not to continue troubleshooting but to get over it and be positive. I am going to try to call the manufacturer's phone number. Um, ooh, that was very curly. To try to see if there's anything that they can do to help me or have any advice for things that I haven't already tried. Um, but for now, I did my hair and I'm loving it. I'm gonna add some hairspray and some gel and I'm gonna try making whipped coffee. For the first time, I bought all the ingredients and I'm so excited to try it because there's been so much hype online for this whipped coffee. Normally I wouldn't just put hairspray in it to be hanging out at home, but 
I know that my hair is not going to hold that crimp from the braids, so I wanted to make sure that it's going to stay for at least a little bit. <laughs> this is what my washing machine situation looks like. My washing machine still has my wet clothes in it. I actually should leave this door open so that it doesn't start to smell. I removed all the clothes last night and tried to wring them out in my shower, but when I thought that I had fixed my machine, I put them all back in uh, and there's still water in it. You can hear the machine have water in it. So I'm <laughs> kind of annoyed and I'm just going to leave it for now. Because trust me, I've tried almost everything I can think of. But instead, I'm gonna try to make whipped coffee right now. It is a beautiful sunny day. There is so much to be grateful for. So I have instant coffee and this is the Tim Hortons brand because of course I needed to get Tim Hortons brand. So this seems excessive to just be making one cup of coffee, but I'm dying to try it. I'm gonna plug in my mixer. I actually have some water boiling there, like a tiny, tiny bit, but let's try this. One tablespoon of instant coffee. Doesn't smell all that good. Then one tablespoon of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. I don't usually drink sugar in my coffee. And then one tablespoon of boiling water. That is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna try to whip it. It got super light and I think this is the consistency that I should be going for. I don't know how you would have whipped this by hand because that took a lot of power from the mixer. But I'm gonna now pour it over some iced milk and try it. All right, I'm so excited. Stirring it up. Mmm. Okay, definitely taste all the sugar. But this tastes like a Tim Hortons cap, um, ice cap. This is so good. Would recommend. Would not recommend all the mess though. <laughs> I'm back on my computer, I'm gonna do some work, and then when I have a free moment, I'm going to try to call and see if there's some, any like troubleshooting things that the customer service line can help me with from Whirlpool. This lighting is horrible. That didn't really help. Anyways, just wanted to give you that update. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work now. Right now, I am playing with some nail polish. So these are the In Sally Hansen Insta Dry Jelly Belly collection that um, is, uh, I believe it's limited edition for the springtime. So I have all of the shades here in front of me, um, but I'm playing with some of the new ones. And I also have some <laughs> Jelly Belly candies um, because I'm sending over a concept for approval for a sponsored post. So I'm pretty sure I know which, um, like the design that I wanna do, but I'm trying to pull out the matching shades. So this is birthday cake and it's kind of like the hero shade for the collection. So I'm trying to find the birthday cake jelly belly so that I can use it as inspiration and see what it looks like. This one might be tutti fruity. I guess the only way to find out is to eat it. I think this one's birthday cake. It looks like the shade too. Let me try it. Mmm, it tastes like bubble gum. It's 
not the bubblegum shade. It might be Tutti Fruity then. Hmm. I wish I didn't just eat it. I need it for reference. Okay, I think I found it. It has to be this one. This is it. It has to be. Okay, let me try it because there's another one just like it. Mmm. Found it. Okay. The other one must have been Tutti Fruity because it tasted really fruity. Now to put together <laughs> an idea. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes behind like how I come up with my nail designs. I'll give you a quick pan down right now. So I have the Jelly Bellies um, spread out here because I was looking for the birthday cake flavor, which is over here. And I'm going to be using the birthday cake shade, but because it is a little bit more sheer, I want to layer it on top of one of the other shades. So because I don't have nail polish on right now, I painted some of my nails and I'm just gonna let them dry for a second. I didn't like actually paint them, just kind of did a swatch on the nail so that I can get an idea of the color. And then I'm going to um, layer birthday cake on top. I just wanted to test which one it like pairs best with. Um, if my nails are painted, sometimes I will just do this on a piece of paper, but because my nails are not painted right now, I thought it would just be um, best if I try it out on my nails. Also, these shades are very pigmented. Like I just did a quick swatch on each of my nails, just like super, super quick, and they turned out really opaque. So these two shades is this one here, which is Jewel Very Cherry. Then I did a swatch of this very light pink, which is also shimmery. I did two of two swatches here, which is called Jewel Bubblegum. And then my thumb has a swatch of Cotton Candy. And this is a shade that they had last year, but the other ones are all new. The other ones that I just mentioned are all new for this year. So kind of wanted to play with some of the pink shades. Although this yellow is really pretty too. Maybe I do yellow. But now that it's kind of dry, I'm gonna do um, a swatch of the birthday cake on top to see which one I like it paired with the best and then kind of come up with the concept from there. <sighs> Another quick tip. So sometimes when I get sent these nail polishes and they are brand, brand new, the tops are really hard to turn off. So I was actually trying to twist this off so hard that I made a mark on my hand. But my trick is always to use a rubber band. So if you just wrap it along the top of the bottle, and you twist, gives you a grip to be able to turn this. It's so hard, but I always leave rubber bands in my nail kit because these often come in handy when trying to open new bottles or even an older bottle that maybe you got nail polish along the rim of it. If it dries, sometimes it'll like seal the bottle shut. Ah, finally, now to swatch this. Ah, I wanted to give you all an update. <laughs> of what I'm doing with my washer. So I decided to take everything out of there because I feel like it's probably not good to have my clothes sitting in wet water in a washing machine. So I transferred them into my shower and I was like wringing them out by hand. There's still water left in the washing machine. I actually have been scooping it into this bucket with a mug. So I'm gonna get the rest of that out um, with this mug to try to get the water out. I don't know what else to do. So I talked to customer service. This is a Whirlpool washer dryer and it came with my condo. Um, it was from the builder, so it's like eight years old. They didn't have much troubleshooting advice besides the things that I had already tried. So they suggested that I get someone to come service the machine. Um, but I'm gonna decide what I wanna do. First, the last thing I'm gonna try is pulling the machine out. So it's like in this closet here. Um, I'm gonna pull it out and just check the back to make sure that there's no kinks in the hose or that it's like sitting at the right level. That's something that they recommended, but I have to do that very carefully. And I also have to, I wanna get all the water out of it before I start moving the machine. So I'm just getting it prepped for that cause I can't move the machine by myself. It's way too heavy. So my boyfriend Christian is going to come later and assist me with that. And then from there I'll have to make a decision on what to do, whether I wanna to pay to have someone come and service it or if it would just be better for me to get a new washing machine altogether because I don't love this washing machine. I don't think that it's a great quality unit um, and I've had issues with it before. This is not the first time that I've gotten an error message before. This is like the worst it's ever been. 
Um, previously, I'd been able to troubleshoot on my own. And it's also very tiny. It's a very, very small unit. I just find it, it doesn't hold a lot and I often have to do like multiple loads of the same color when I'm doing laundry because it doesn't all fit and I don't want to like jam it in there. So I would probably get something like maybe slightly bigger and more high tech. I don't know. That's just kind of my thought. If I were to get a new unit, I kind of need to weigh out the pros and cons. Yeah. It's much later now and Christian came to join me for dinner. So we're having dinner together and we're going to enjoy. Bon appetit. <laughs> I drained the rest of the water out. It's in this bucket and I had it in this pizza tray as I was opening up the filter. But what came out was this. So I don't know if this was clogging it. This might have been the final thing that fixed it. How will I know? I guess I have to run a cycle. Or I could just pour some water in here and see if it'll drain. Do a drain and spin cycle. This just looks rusty. Should I clean it? I really hope that that little piece was it. That would make me so happy. Can you imagine that solved the whole problem? Didn't even have to move anything. It's working! I think it's fixed! This little piece, which is the end of my, like it goes on like a, like on the drawstring of a sweater. This little piece has been the source of my frustration for the last 24 hours, but it seems to be working now. So this was my last test and then I'm gonna run a normal cycle. That'll be the last true test to know that it works. But the towel that I just ran came out like normal, like how it's supposed to come out, not dripping wet, because it did the spin cycle. So now I poured water in there to see if it drains, and it did drain, and now it's spinning, so I don't know. I think it worked. Hello, everyone. It's probably been two hours, and we... I don't even want to say it! You think it's you think it's good? Oh, I think we finally fixed it. Let's go over there. Oh wait, it's showing some. It's showing. It's showing a blank screen still. See, this is why I didn't want to say it. You never know with this freaking thing. I have fresh, clean, and dry towels. <laughs> Time to fold them, but I think it's safe to say it's fixed. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Hello, it is the next day. I'm super casual today um, and didn't really get dressed. Uh, I just like being cozy at home sometimes. So today I've been, it's like later in the day, it's three o'clock now, but uh, I've been working all morning, but I'm having some issues with the my network connection at work so kind of took a break because i can't really do too much for work right now until my next meeting because i can do conference calls and then i'll have to catch up on my work later tonight when i can um, connect better onto the network so with that being said i am taking a break and doing some fun artsy stuff <laughs> So here I have my setup and I have Jelly Belly candy. So this is what I was talking about yesterday and I um, was able to do my nail look and I took some flat lay pictures here. So when I do that, this is a bit of a sneak peek to my setup. So I have my camera set up here on a tripod tilted down onto my white coffee table that I usually use as my background. And then I have my ring light here that shines above. This is super bright when I turn it on. Um, don't mind my comfy couch in the background. So that's left over for my lunch. These are all the other Jelly Bellies that I didn't use just yet. I did only the picture first for my nail looks. I wanted it to be like Easter themed colors, things that were more like pastel um, and matched the nail look. 
but I'm gonna do another shot and I'll show you kind of the behind the scenes with the rest of these flavors and the rest of the shades that are from the collection. much later now I finished those photos sent them over for approval on a very short turnaround but you know working with it and then I hopped back on my work computer and did a bunch of meetings and completed a few deadlines I still have a little bit more work to finish up later this evening I like I said my hours have kind of been weird because I have network restriction hours so I've kind of been doing more work in the evenings because that's when I'm able to log on and kind of like shifting my day around. So right now it's about seven o'clock and I'm taking a break to have dinner. I'm having a salad, which I prepared yesterday, but there isn't any protein in this salad. It's just like lettuce and cucumbers, some peppers. Uh, I do have a little bit of feta cheese in here. I guess that's a bit of protein and avocado. And then on the side, <laughs> these are beet chips that are from Costco. I don't have the box. Um, so I threw it away in, in all of this uh, quarantine trying to be sanitary with my groceries. Um, but they're the beet chips. They're like round chips like this from Costco. I feel like such a slob like vlogging today because I'm just wearing like a comfy t-shirt and my hair is slicked back. And my condo is a disaster because every time I'm like shooting pictures, I like bring out all my equipment and everything is everywhere. So I just feel kind of like not put together, but I don't want to like not vlog today. So anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. So I know I'm not going anywhere and this might not seem necessary to like cut things and put them in Tupperware, but I was reaching for the strawberries that were in my fridge and realized that they were gonna go bad in a few days if I do not start to eat them. So I cut them all up. Since I was gonna cut them just to eat, I decided to just go ahead and have them all prepped in my fridge because every time I open my fridge wanting to have a snack, I look at them but then realize I don't wanna have to cut them and wash them and prep them and even though that doesn't seem like a lot of work, I just find that I grab things more when they are easy and ready. So I went ahead and cut up all my fruit and that way I am more likely to eat it before it goes bad and it's ready to snack on. Just wanted to share that little quarantine tip. Hey, I'm hopping on here to end this vlog because I obviously didn't do that this day. Um, but I just wanted to say, I hope everyone is doing um, well and staying safe. I hope that this vlog didn't come off like too negative because I was complaining about my washing machine breaking, but, um, and, and being able to fix it. But I guess I just wanted to share kind of my adventures being an adult and, you know, being a first time homeowner and, and the things that I'm going through. And I thought that this vlog just kind of like captured that and kind of shared my experience. So I hope you take it for what it is and enjoy it. Um, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.